Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to the lecture number 57, Design and Analysis of Experiment. I am a TA of this course. My name is Sovik Das. In this lecture, I will perform that how to do ANOVA using Minitab. So, this is the topic of this lecture. So, the content will be ANOVA example in Minitab. Then, I will do some uh, randomized complete block design. That will, that will also be performed in Minitab. So, directly I am going to the case study. In this case study, it is saying that an analyst is interested to investigate the relationship between the material types and the strength for a product. This is a randomly performed experiment that uh, we can see that uh, in material type B for strength is 6 and the uh, and strength is the first strength the randomized is it random 1 this is 63 then it is random 2 means we are performing the run in a random order so we will take this example and we will do in anova uh, we will do anova analysis using minitab that how to do it in minitab so this is the data input that how we will import the data in Minitab. So, I am going to the Minitab software. First, I am writing all the uh, yeah. this is the material type, hmm. this is material type. So, this is A, B, C, D, then it is 62, 60, 63, 59. 63 59 then it is 63 67 71 64 65 66 68 66 71 67 68 68 and this is 56 then 62, 60, 61, 63, 64. Now, our first task is we have to get this data in Excel. So, see this section that how we have entered the data in Excel. That this is material type A. So, we have put all the values in column like 62 it is in the uh, under A, then 60, 63. In that way, we have organized the data. Now, we will just copy it, copy and we will open our Minitab software and just we will paste it. So, the data is, uh, data is coming in the Minitab. Now, we will go to the stat. After the stat, we will go to the ANOVA and then from ANOVA it is one way ANOVA. So, now they are asking that response data are in one column for all factor level, but our factors are A, B, C, D and data are in different column. So, we will put the response data are in separate column for each factor level. Then, we will go for response. So, it is coming that response are 4 response for factor level A, factor level B, factor level C, factor level D. So, we will select all the first A, then B, then C, then D. After, this, after selecting all the responses, we will go to the option section. In option section, it is saying that confidence level is 95. You can change it according to your problem statement. 
Now it is saying also that type of confident interval, it is two sided or one sided uh, the lower bound is given or upper bound. So, we will put it two sided, then we will go ok. Then this is comparison, then in the lecture we have seen that there are two comparison 2 case test and Fisher LSD test. It is basically compare the means of the treatment. So, we will tick this 2 k and feature, then we will go ok. Then graph, what types of graph we need, here interval plot, individual value plot, box plot of the data. So, then for residual plot it is individual plot, histogram of residual, normal probability plot of residual, residual versus fit, all the things we can tick. So, we will get all the graph. Then this is the result that uh, what types of result we want to get this uh, in sample table we will get all the result. We will get that what method we are using, what is the factor information, then the ANOVA table, what the model summary and then means. So, I am going last to OK. So, this is all the graph we have got that this is histogram, this is residual versus fitted value this is normal probability plot, this is box plot of all the factors, this is individual value plot, then interval plot, then Fisher LSD, Fisher LSD plot, then 2 k's and also we will get the result here. So, in the here we can see if I extend it, uh, so we can see that this is our my ANOVA table that there are uh, factors in sources this is factor that is treatment in uh, lecture we have learnt it as a treatment in mini tab it is coming as factor. So, the degree of freedom is 3 as there are 4 factors so then that will be 4 minus 1 this is 3 then what is the SS square this is 2 to 8 then what is the MS square this is 2 to 8 by degree of freedom that is 76 then error error term also will get SS error, the, in the degree of freedom, freedom is 20, the total is uh, 24 data we have. So, 24 minus 1, this is uh, degree of freedom of total 23 and 23 minus uh, factor degree of freedom 3 that is then the, we will get the error degree of freedom that is 20. So, in error the SS is 112, adjust SS is 5.6. Now, accordingly also here we get in model summary we get that what is the standard deviation, then what is the r square value, what is the adjusted r square value, all the things, then what is the mean of the factor A, what is the standard deviation of the factor A, what is the 95 percent confidence interval of the factor A, all the things we have got. Now, this is the two case comparison test and the Fisher LSD information also we have got in this section. So, this is how to perform mini tab. So, in manually what we do in uh, when we analyze uh, ANOVA what we do uh, first we add all the value suppose in this section this is y i dot what we do we add 62 plus 60 plus 63 plus 59 plus 63 plus 59 suppose we have got a sorry this will be a 1 to differentiate from this type. Then for B again we will add a this, so we will get B 1, for C we again we will add this we will get C 1, for D it will be D 1. Then we will add all the three, all the four A 1 plus B 1 plus D 1. So, this will be y dot dot and the total value that is n here is this is 4 and this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 4 into 6 that is 24. So, our in our ANOVA what is the SS treatment that is nothing but summation of i is equal to 1 to a number of treatment a is the number of treatment y i dot square minus y dot dot square by n. So, all the 
y i dot we will get y dot dot we will get from here n we will know 24. So, in this manner we will get s s total s sorry s s treatment this is s s treatments. Then for s s total we will do that all the value square the 62 square plus 60 square plus 63 square plus 59 in this manner up to 64 square. So, this will be double summation i is equal to 1 to a j is equal to 1 to b y i j square minus y dot dot square by n. Then s s error will be s s total minus s s treatment. Then we will get the m s error m s sorry m s treatment first is equal to s s treatment by treatment degree of freedom degree of freedom of treatment. Then same manner m s error we will calculate. So, in mini tab what we are getting that this is the S S treatment a sorry M S treatment that is 76 and M S error this is 5.6. Now, the F value we will calculate F value is equal to M S treatment by m s error. So, the f value we will get. Now, we have to compare with the tabulated f value. Here tabulated f value is m s treatment is the degree of freedom of m s treatment is this is will be 3 and m s error will be this will be 20 and in this case our alpha is 0 0.05. So, from table we will get this value. Now, we have to compare that a value is greater than from this tabulated value or less than from this tabulated value. So, if this value will be greater than the tabulated value, then we can say that the material type is significantly affecting the yield rate or if this is the less than, then we can say that material type does not significantly affecting the mean rate. So, this is the mini uh, ANOVA analysis in mini tab. Now, I am going to that how to analyze randomized complete block, block design in mini tab. Ah, so, this is the randomized complete block design. So, Last I have said that why it is randomized that we are performing all the experiment in random order that is it is called randomized and why it is complete, complete block design because uh, if we take, we, if we see this example this is material type and strength and these are the yield rate. So, if we take that strength, the, analy uh, the strength uh, is given by different machine. So, due to this machine variation EL rate can be different. So, we have we have taken the strength is as a block. So, when we take it as a block we see that all the material type if this is A is the block B is the block then uh, from this we can see that in A all the material types are present in B all the material types are present that is it is that is that is why it is called complete that all the complete material types are present in one block. So, in ANOVA when we going we are going to analyze uh, block design randomize complete block design we have to design our data like this. First we, are, we have uh, we have this type of data this is material type this is strength A B C D E F. So, this is these are the yield rate 62, 60, 63 the same data we are using here. Now, we have to design in such a manner that material type 1, 2, 3, 4 then for strength A all the observation are there 
then for strength b all the observation for there. So, this type of structure of data we have to make in excel we have to put all the data. So, I am writing this is material type then it will be strength then it will be yield rate. So, material type 1, 2, 3, 4 and for strength this will be A, 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 A. So, this is our data. So, for material type 1, 2, 3, 4 and for strength A, 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 A. So, this is 62, 63, 68, 56. Yield rate is 62, then 63, then 68, then 56. Then again material type 1, 2, 3, 4, strength will be B, 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 yield rate will be 60, 67, 66, 62, then it will be five, uh, again material type 1, 2, 3, 4, then it will be C, 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 the data will be 63, 71, 71, 60. Then again it will be into 3, 4, D, 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 this 59, 64, 67, 61, 1, 2, 3, 4, this will be E, 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 this is 63, 65, 68, 63. Last one is 1, 2, 3, 4 material type and strength is F, this is F, this is F, this is F and yield rate is 59, 66, 68 and 64. Now, my data set is ready. So, now I can copy from here and directly put to the mini tab. So, now my data set is ready in mini tab. This is the data set of complete randomized complete block design. Now, I will go to the stat, then I will go to the DOE, sorry I will go to the ANOVA, then from ANOVA it is generalized linear model then from general linear model to fit general linear model. Now, it is saying that what are the response, here response is yield rate to so select, what are the factors, factors are material type and also strength. So, we are taking strength as a block. So, now random and nest, this is material type, this is fixed model then in model interaction through only material type and strength, their interaction we are not considering as 
it is the strength we are taking it is as a block then in option there is 95 percent and two sided then in graph we will go to the graph graph and all the graph we will one in a single page so four in one this is the option and result the so all the result we know we want to get so all the tick we have done now we will go to the ok so this is the graph we have got that this is normal probability plot this is residual versus fitted value this is frequency of the residuals this is observation order versus residual so now in this case we have got that this material type and the s square is 2 to 8 and the strength we have taken as a block it is 41.50 and error it is 70.50 so again the same thing we will uh, we will do that we will calculate the ms using the adjusted uh, s square and degree of freedom then again we will calculate that f value whether the uh, treatment mean that in material type is the treatment here whether the treatment means are affecting the yield rate or also the block the block we have taken that is affecting the yield rate that we will get from f value and again all the uh, details of the model then what is the standard deviation r square value adjusted r square value we will get and the total things we will get so this is the randomized complete block design so in manually what we do suppose this is our material type this is our material type in this example all the things are 1 2 3 4 and this is the strength that we have taken as block a b c d e f and all the values are there values are there suppose it is a 1 b 1 c 1 d 1 u 1 f 1 a 2 b 2 c 2 d 2 e 2 f 2 a 3 b 3 c 3 d 3 e 3 f 3 then it is a 4 b 4 c 4 d 4 e 4 f 4. So, again the same way we will calculate all the sum of this this is y i dot that a 1 plus b 1 plus c 1 plus d 1 then we will get big a 1. If we calc uh, sum all the a 2 plus b 2 then this is a 2 similarly a 3 and a 4 and if we sum this is y dot j if we sum all the a 1 plus a 2 plus a 3 plus a 4 we will get b 1 this is b 2 b 3 b 4 b 5 b 6 then uh, we will calculate the total sum that is either a 1 plus a 2 plus a 3 plus a 4 or it will be b 1 plus b 2 plus dot 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 plus b 6 and here also n is the total number of that is 4 here and this is 6. So, 6 into 4 that is 24. Now, using this data set in randomized in RCBD randomized complete block design we will first, first calculate SS total. SS total is sum of all the things that is a 1 square a 1 square plus b 1 square plus c 1 square plus all the sum that is summation of i is equal to 1 to a and j is equal to 1 to b a is the number of treatment and b is the number of block y i j square minus y dot dot square here y dot dot is this either a 1 plus y dot dot is a 1 plus a 2 plus a 3 plus a 4 or b 1 plus b 2 plus b 3 plus b 6. So, now y dot dot square by n here n is 24. So, in this manner we will get the SS total 
then SS treatment it will be 1 by B summation of I is equal to 1 to A y i dot square minus y dot dot square by n and s s block will be 1 by a summation of j is equal to 1 to b y dot j square minus y dot dot square by n. Now, s s error can be calculated using s s total minus S S treatments minus S S block and we know the degree of freedom of S S treatment is there are 4 treatment in this data there are 4 treatment. So, degree of freedom will be 4 minus 1 that will be 3 and there are 6 block A B C D E F. So, the degree of freedom will be 6 minus 1 that is 5. So, we can calculate that MS treatment will be S S treatment by degree of freedom of treatments that is 3 and MS block that will be S S block by degree of freedom of the block that is 5 and also ms error we can calculate in similar manner that is ss error by degree of freedom of error so now we can calculate the f value f value of treatment f value of treatment it will be MS treatment by MS error and A value of block will be MS block by MS error and from that analysis we can see that what are the effects of treatment and block. So, all the things we will get from the lecture that sir has taught in the previous uh, lecture that uh, ANOVA randomized complete block design you will get uh, all the things and all the concept that why you, uh, we are using ANOVA why we are, using, we are going uh, for randomized complete block design. So, please go through all the lecture that sir has taught and this lecture is basically how to use mini tab for analyzing ANOVA and randomized complete block design. Thank you.